Francisco last night's concert outside City Hall was a big hit. It drew over 20,000 people. They were out there enjoying the music, but as Kevin Co reports, the economic boost for local business was hit and miss. It is a lot quieter out here outside of City Hall tonight with about 25,000 fewer people here. Last night's Fred again and Skrillex concert was pretty much a success all around, including a lot of neighboring businesses around here who did see a boom in business, but not everyone. What they did was so they put the fences, so they put fences here, yeah, right here. Umid owns Eurocane with his wife just a block away from last night's concert at Civic Center Plaza. So nobody come inside and then they just block off here so nobody can come from the concert. He was looking forward to last night's show featuring Fred again and Skrillex, a sold out show with 25,000 people there. We had only maybe 30 or 40 people coming in and eating. The problem, he says, was his business was fenced off. I talked to them too. I said, can you guys open a way to people to come so people can come in and they said the city give them a map and then they had to follow that map. The senior vice president of Another Planet Entertainment, the concert production company who put on the show, tells me this was an outlier. In fact, other neighboring businesses say they saw massive increases in sales due to last night's crowd. The concert production company says it worked hand in hand with the city of San Francisco, from fencing to a 10 p.m. curfew for the music to end. Music that could be heard four miles. So see the mo modern building with the squares on it? It's like right behind there, I think. It's pretty far. Yeah, it's pretty far. <laughs> and it was loud. Claudia lives on Potrero Hill. I was laying in bed and my windows were shaking and I thought maybe someone was like sitting outside playing really loud music and then I couldn't figure out what it was. She was kind of right. There was someone playing music outside, but it was a few miles away, outside San Francisco City Hall. She says last night's concert was louder than shows she's heard from Oracle Park, including Beyonce and Lady Gaga. I could feel it. I, got to, I had to take my mirror off my wall because it was like shaking. I think getting people out and doing things and occupying space so we can like make things nice for people is gonna be good. But maybe like some more chill music. Yeah. <laughs> for Umit, he cares less about what kind of music it was. He appreciated there were so many people downtown. So we put lots of food in the back, lots of drinks in the back, but you know, nothing happened. Umit was ready to feed thousands, but his disappointment lies in the fact that he and Euroking were seemingly left out. It is really bad to watch people passing by and nobody's coming in. But when you're expecting more, that you don't get that more, then that's kind of a heartbreaking for us. Now, the good news for Umit is that this could be the first of many more big shows to come. Mayor London Breed called last night's concert both a success and fun, adding that working with private companies like Another Planet Entertainment shows the city can host more major events in the future.